to really a new perspective about food. It's essentially a nutrition and dietetics course, but its scope is quite broad. We actually start with um, a unit called working as a microbiologist, understanding and looking at food uh, from the perspective of both microbes, the impact of good and bad microbes, but also from the perspective of hygiene. Um, so we actually have a range of microbes that are really important for the development of uh, a huge range of foods. And we look at um, also the role of enzymes, essentially proteins that act as catalysts, that speed up the maturation of food, which we want, but often take food beyond a point at which it's healthy or good to eat. And so that unit really involves um, some station work. Uh, we actually prepare a range of foods. We look at um, concepts such as the critical temperature zone and um, cross-contamination. One of the areas that um, is very significant in Australia is the incidence of food poisoning. We have a huge uh, number of people, um, around about 5.5 million people a year who suffer from food poisoning. Uh, it has a significant economic cost on the Australian economy. And so it really is an indication that there is the need for an understanding of how to prepare food um, safely, store it safely, prevent cross-contamination. And there have been some really significant uh, and quite alarming food poisoning cases in Australia. So we look at some of those particular cases and how that actually came about. Um, our next unit is um, working as a food technologist, recognising that <clears throat> in the creation of food, there is in fact uh, a lot of chemistry that takes place. So we um, unpack some of those chemical reactions, recognising that food is made up of nutrients, uh, proteins, carbs and fats are our macronutrients and it's those nutrients that take part in the chemical reactions. And so students get to um, experiment with food, develop a range of products and um, unpack some of those chemical reactions themselves in products that they've actually created. We're also interested in the technologies uh, that play a role in the processing of our food and not only looking at the technologies and how they change our food, such as extrusion technology, but how that also then plays out on our health because often as food is processed, certain nutrients are removed, such as fibre, and certain nutrients are added, such as salts and sugars, um, and uh, we actually end up with a whole range of diseases that um, are quite common um, for West because of uh, the style of ultra processed or fully processed foods within our diet. Within that range of foods is also the use of food additives. They have a really important role, but they also have some negative impacts on health, certain ones in particular, like such as monosodium glutamate. And we look at, um, we do a case study around um, corn chips um, and having a look at the specific types that are used. Our next unit, we actually work as an anthropologist and we're really studying here and examining here uh, the role of uh, migrant groups. But first of all, our wonderful and deep history um, that indigenous culture and heritage has brought to uh, cultural cuisine of Australia. So we actually use uh, a range of indigenous ingredients to create some food products. We do some station work also around iconic Australian foods, look at some of those histories associated with it. Um, in some of these photos that are on this screen is uh, students work on creating their own version of Monte Carlo's and Arnott's Biscuit. Uh, that was um, uh, obviously it's an iconic food. One of the experiences um, is doing um, an excursion that we call a food safari excursion and unpacking the migrant story that uh, often there's some wonderful food businesses that have a family history where uh, the first generation of that family came to Australia and uh, started up wonderful food businesses. And so we hear these migrant stories and uh, get to taste some of the wonderful foods. Uh, year nine finishes off with a celebrations unit. And, uh, but throughout the year, we also, as you can see, there's some Easter cakes there. 
in uh, year 10, we look at food equity and social justice, a much bigger picture of food production around the world. Uh, we're really wanting to come to terms uh, also with um, the impact of food insecurity and what that means for health and disease in third world countries, the impact of the poverty cycle and what we also refer to as the malnutrition cycle. We consider the role of World Vision, um, a very uh, incredible organisation that has established a program called Seeds of Hope that is truly bringing um, changes to some communities, uh, particularly in Ethiopia, with a hand up rather than a hand out economic development. So we look at that. One of the concerning um, areas that we examine is global food supply and how in some cases and in some with some foods, uh, and then there's more than um, chocolate, but chocolate is one of our case study foods, um, often uh, adds to um, inequity and social justice with the use of child labour. So that's uh, an area that we examine. Another unit we look at is extreme nutrition. So looking at uh, this time at first world, because we do pick up on some of uh, this in the previous unit where we look at undernutrition in third world countries and undernutrition in first world uh, is very different. Again, uh, we look at overnutrition um, as part of malnutrition. So we look at morbid obesity and super super morbid obesity and the conditions associated with that such as type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular disease under nutrition in, in uh, third world country in first world countries can often look um, uh, very extreme such as anorexia and bulimia and we are considering the physiological the social uh, the economic impact of these diseases so not just sort of finding out about them but um, also understanding uh, how uh, they, they play out and what can be some of the long-term impacts. Uh, looking here in this particular unit called Foods, Fads, Fallacies and Fashion, we're really interested in how culture, religion, uh, belief systems change our perception or shape our perception of what is acceptable as food. And it's also a, a unit where we uh, want to understand a little bit more deeply about uh, the impact of nutrients. And so it leads us into examining visceral fat. Uh, it, we look at fad diets, um, orthorexia and freeganism being one of them. And then we finish with um, a styling unit, a food styling unit. And uh, it's a nice way to finish. So it's a wonderful course that will make you a little bit more of an expert in nutrition and dietetics while giving you very much hands-on experience, uh, giving you um, a, an insight that uh, food is more than just cooking it, but really understanding many of the nutrients behind it and its impact on our health.